What's up guys? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So we got our base up and running right now. It is looking good. I showed you guys this yesterday. Unfortunately, there's basically nothing inside. So, um, I mean, there's a couple bullets. A few of these have 100 bullets. A couple have 50. We don't have too many bullets right now. So what we're going to do today is work on getting those bullets as quickly as we can in here. Um, just, just to make sure we don't get raided. Although, I guess, technically speaking, if we do get raided, uh, I think they're going to lose a lot more than we do. Because we're, we have literally nothing. Everything that we have has just basically gone into building the base. And I'm even considering turning turrets off. Because people will probably assume we have good stuff in there. There's a party hat on this Argent. That's amazing. But people will probably assume we have stuff in there because the turrets are gone or there. But whatever. We're not going to worry about that now. What we are going to do, though, is... Oh, this guy's got a nice little saddle. Some random junk. Um, he's got 8,000 weight, so we're gonna go over to the lava area. We're gonna make this a grindy video today because I gotta do a lot of grinding to help get those bullets and turrets taken care of. Also, my voice sounds kind of weird today, like a little bit higher than normal. I think my voice is starting to go away because my, I think it's my tonsils, like they're closing so much, I'm starting to lose my voice. So, hopefully I don't lose it, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then I also wanted to talk about something pretty weird. So, you guys know, or maybe you don't know, but on YouTube, there's like a spam comment filter. So a lot of your comments will go to spam if they have a hashtag in it. So I don't know why this is. Um, I have no idea. Ooh, that got 130 charcoal. Ooh, that was pretty good. I have no idea why, but when you do a hashtag, it goes to the spam. So I was looking through my spam comments the other day, and I'm like checking them out. And I noticed there's this hashtag that's been going around, which I had no idea about because it's always in spam. And it's hashtag mustache fella. And I didn't realize this was a thing. It goes back almost two weeks where it's been blocked every single day. But like these people, this group of people keeps commenting hashtag mustache fella. I thought it was so weird and so funny. And I actually started laughing when I realized that was like a thing that was happening. But this, this, this group of people is asking like, why are you growing a mustache now? And it's like some people liked it, which is pretty cool. But basically, I grow a mustache for two reasons and a beard. Number one, I think it looks pretty sweet. Number two, it hides a lot of the pimples. So if you get some pimples, like if you're like a guy, you can grow your mustache out pretty well and your beard and everything and, and hide it all pretty well. But ultimately, because I can, I think that's pretty much the main reason. Like this dude asked me every day and I was like, that's the reason, just because I can. Like if you can grow one, it's I feel like it's your duty as a man to grow one out. Like, you know, you always have those friends that can't do it and they really want to. I'm just doing it for them. So as far as I know, this is the most efficient way to get our charcoal right now. And once we get it, we're just going to, I think, let's see, combine it with spark powder. And unfortunately, I don't know of a way to, like, hit a tree and get spark powder. Otherwise, this would be a lot easier. But I think my goal for tonight is to just get as much gunpowder as possible. Oh, didn't mean to hit you. Get as much gunpowder as possible. I'm going to go, like, massively getting this stuff. I just feel like with the rates and my good uh, pickaxe here, I mean, I'm getting a good amount of charcoal every few seconds. So I think this is a pretty good way to do it. But if you have a better way, definitely leave a comment below on what you have. Um, but I don't want to go harvest, like, wood and then burn it because like i can get charcoal just as quick as wood so why wouldn't i do this you know this is the way to go um but i'll probably do that get the gunpowder what's going on with this tree a little lag maybe and then have my tribe tonight get on and work on turning that into actual bullets and then we'll load it up tonight so hopefully by the time you see this video we will have that all taken care of so maybe we'll have some actual bullets up there but ultimately if you're looking to raid us right now um i'm just gonna tell you straight up we have two bases okay we have that little tiny base with all the turrets then we have a big base that big base is our crafting base, okay? All of our resources will be in the crafting base, and we will not be protecting it. So if you want to raid us, you can walk in and just steal whatever you want. I mean, we're going to leave that thing unprotected because our goal here is to not have any resources sitting around inside. No blueprints, no anything except for our own characters. I mean, they're going to have basic crafting things to repair stuff, but nothing is inside. So I'm telling you right now, you will waste your resources if you attack us. But I also feel like telling you that kind of feels like maybe it's like reverse psychology like you're probably like that lover's lying to me you probably have good stuff in there no i don't i mean i really don't and i'll even show you once we get back to base there's nothing in there so guys a lot of you subscribe to my channel because my message is to spread the love and i work to inspire you guys but i feel like in a lot of my recent videos i really just like haven't been doing that as <gasps> as much as i normally would what the heck's going on here we got who's this who's this i was about to give you guys a cool speech we got a we got a heart attack oh that's that's big tasty oh my gosh oh my gosh brian i can't believe i wow are you kidding me incredible this is this wow what a moment guys this is big tasty he was in our tribe and then he left to make his own tribe and i can't believe he just ran into me on here that's freaking hilarious dude i was just about to kill you without even checking what tribe and then i saw heart attack and i was like wait a minute that's me amazing absolutely amazing that's so funny 
All right, so yeah, so he's basically going solo. I think he might have a friend or two, but that's so weird to see him. We, we like know each other in real life, um, but we didn't plan to meet up here. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Well, I get some flint and stone to make our spark powder. We haven't been inspiring you guys. Like, I haven't been talking about it lately. And I think part of it is because I haven't been feeling super inspired lately just because when I get in college, it stresses me out like crazy. So I thought I would talk about that today. Talk about something that might help some of you guys that are in school and getting through it. So for me, I'm in a lot of classes with some terrible teachers, all right? And when I say terrible, I mean professors that basically, uh, they don't speak English, they don't teach well, and they're just, they're not teachers, right? They're not good at it. They don't want to teach. They want to research. And so a lot of stuff you have to teach yourself. I've been through before because I'm a senior now in college, but it's like really difficult. And I know a lot of you are dealing with that too. And earlier I was sitting here studying and I got to finish studying after this video today. Um, for a reaction or chemical reaction kinetics class, which don't even ask me what that means because I couldn't tell you. And um, I just realized that it's extremely hard. And the entire time you work through this stuff, you just want to quit. For a lot of people, like a lot of people are pretty bad at math, I've noticed, or at least they think they're bad at math. Um, that's what a lot of people say. They're like, I'm not a math person, or I'm like, I'm not a science person, or whatever it is. But I think there is no type of person like I don't think there is like a type of person like you can't just not be good at math alright that's like not a thing that's like just like some lie you keep telling yourself because I think if you really want to do it then you're gonna take time to learn how to do it maybe you don't understand it because you just don't get the basic concepts right that's that's the situation I'm in I don't get the basic concepts for um it's like he has a wyvern right there how's big tasty wyvern I don't get basic concepts concepts for reaction kinetics but I'm not not good at it it's just that I need to relearn the basics so I think for a lot of people that's how it is and I just don't want people to use that as an excuse like people use that as an excuse say i'm not good at science i'm not good at english i'm not good at spanish whatever it is and they just don't put the effort in but if you actually believe that you can get through it this really does make a big difference like even on youtube like that's how it is for me look at my old videos i was horrible and i still am probably but i used to be really 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 bad and then i just started saying you know what i am i have forty thousand subscribers i must be doing something right and I just started putting more belief into myself and then things get better. So ultimately, what I'm trying to say here is if you try to believe in yourself and don't just dismiss it, don't just give up before you try, you guys will have some incredible results through everything. I'm telling you guys, apply that to everything. Don't go into it with the mindset that you can do it. Otherwise, you'll never be able to. So back to ARC. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I would like to get back to doing more of those because I just really enjoy it. And that's kind of what the channel is founded on. Um, so spreading the love, you know, that's what it's all about here. So what we have, we have probably 2000 charcoal, not much flint, not much stone. And I don't know that harvesting it by hand is going to be the best solution here. Um, but I guess what we can do is take our charcoal, go put it in our, um, our uh, chemical bench and then see what we can do with it. <clears throat> okay, so here are the two bases, right? This is what I was talking about a second ago. Base up there, all the turrets, all the stuff protecting it. Base down here, blown into, no door, literally nothing inside. But the reason is just because it makes it a lot easier for us to craft things in here. So I can like walk my origin in, take it right up to where it needs to be, hop off in here, and then go to our, um, oh geez, someone broke it. Well, we used to have a chemistry bench here. <laughs> I think we might have one more. I didn't realize someone broke it, so maybe we will put a door on this. But it was going to be a community thing. Someone broke this one, too. Why did they only break the chemistry? That's kind of weird. Um, that's, That is strange how they did that. But there was nothing in it, so unfortunately, they're both broken now. So I guess we do have to get a door up on here. But it was going to be like a community thing, like fly up here, craft your own stuff in it. You know, make make some friends, help some people out and stuff. But looks like that uh, looks like that's no longer going to be the case. But regardless, this base is probably going to stay like that. Maybe we'll give like a password to like, you know, teammates and stuff. And then inside this one, I guess I can show you the inside because there's really nothing to hide in here. But I'm going to, I'm just not going to, uh, I don't know. I'm probably not going to show it anyway. Okay, so with all the charcoal we just got, this is what we managed to make. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 900 bullets, which is pretty decent. And I'm probably just going to split them up around the outside. And basically what I did is I used every single piece of charcoal that I got to make these bullets. And there's literally nothing left. There's no metal left. There's no charcoal left. There's no anything left. And that's how we're going to do it. That way when people repeatedly raid us, they're going to keep breaking in. They're going to waste all their resources getting through our turrets all the time getting up here. And then they're going to realize there's literally nothing to take. And so that's our strategy for this one. We're going to see if it pays off. But, you know, we're, oh, the, actually, it looks like someone maybe already tried to attack us. Or at least that one in particular for some reason. And this one's actually been drained already. So it looks like people obviously know we're here. I mean, 
these ones seem to be drained pretty pretty much uh very much and these are targeted on survivors or creatures i'm going to actually put them on only survivors and the reason is because over here i don't see people getting a stego on this area so like i feel like they're going to shoot survivals off their birds almost fell off right there and i'm guessing yeah this one's also on medium and on that so um also looks like they're not pin coated I did this last night, and it looks like it didn't save any of the uh, pin coding work, which is interesting. Um, yeah, it's not. I'm going to have to go through and reset all these here real quick, but I might fall here too. We'll just give these a couple, and it seems like these are pretty valuable at this location because they're going to be able to shoot people as they're flying near us over here. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And again, we're going to put these on only survivors. I don't want them shooting quetzes and stuff like that. I don't want people tanking it easy. And, I mean, this one, let's see. This one took some serious damage. Someone must have shot it somehow with some rockets or some C4, but I'm not... Well, I guess if they drained all the bullets, that's how they would have gotten to it, but it must have been really quick. I mean, I wasn't on long last night, so people must see it and come for it. So that's fine, though. If they want to break in, like we said, we're kind of preparing for it, so we expect that to happen. Um, our, our actual good stuff, which we don't have much of, like three blueprints, is not really in this base at all or anywhere near it. So scavenger hunt, guys. If you find it, there you go. Problem solved. So yeah, if this is our, our side that's getting hit, I figure we might as well pump these guys up with our bullets. Again, we're going to change this one to survivors only. And I think that's really going to help us out. Not going to drain so many next time. I'm guessing these are also... Oh, this is a 200 only survivors. Um, yeah, why are a lot of these on medium? That's really weird. Maybe I didn't set as many as I thought I did yesterday. but Or maybe the tribe mates change it, which is totally possible. And maybe they had a good reason. Um, but yeah, go ahead and put 100 in here. And I think those are pretty well pretty well done down there. Let's go ahead and get the last bit. This one actually has 100. Again, no pin code. Maybe someone picked them up. I don't know. Actually, I think someone did pick them up. I'm pretty sure that did happen. I know this is your favorite thing, guys. If I fall, I bet some of you guys are going to be really happy. Set pin code. And change range to high. And we'll just go ahead and put the last 100 bullets in there. And change to survivors only. So someone leave a comment below. Tell me if it's a bad idea to put those on survivors only. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can hear the, the generator in there running pretty well. Looks like most of these have about 50. Some of them have zero. 50 on that one. And a lot. I'm going to have to change the range and stuff and targeting of these. But I'll do that off camera so you don't have to watch that. But, yeah, guys, that's what we're doing today. Um, probably the next few days we'll be grinding some bullets out. Putting all of our effort into that. Working on that. And then we'll get to do some cool stuff after that. So, guys... Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to join my tribe, as always, check out my link in the description to become a patron and join the Lover Elite Squad. Join the Lover Discord, Lover Elite Discord. It's pretty cool stuff, and it helps support me and my channel as I'm a broke college student. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and spread the love.